Well, welcome all of you. Uh, I want to also congratulate you as, as Jay did earlier for passing the inspection. That's great for all 11. We, as you can see, the snow conditions are pretty good this year, so that shouldn't be an issue. And, uh, I want to wish all of you success and, and, and be safe in the competition this year. Uh, again, welcome. Um, so as Jay said, it's his um, return for me after about a five-year absence. It's great to come back and see everyone here. It's great to have this many uh, sleds starting, so uh, congratulations to you all. Thank you for Jay for once again organizing this for us. Uh, this event definitely would not be possible without Michigan Tech. So good luck today, and I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. <laughs> as well as all the volunteers that uh, make sure to keep you safe this week. So without them, this wouldn't all be possible. And they're, they're here to support you because you support the youth of, of snowmobiling. And now, did I say everything you were going to say? <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Uh, I am representing a couple different organizations. And just to let you know, very briefly, we have clubs at the local level. And under the local levels, you, we have uh, councils and so forth. Then we have the Michigan Snowmobile Association as an umbrella over them. And then beyond that, AXA, the American Council for Snowmobiling Associations. So together, and AXA, we kind of got a little thing going with that. AXA means access. And what we work for every day, we're the only organization working to keep our trail systems open for us snowmobilers. So anytime you hear AXA, Michigan Snowmobile Association, or any association in the related states, we are the only organizations fighting to keep trails open. Thank you. Good luck. Next person to speak will be Dan Moore. Dan Moore is part of the International Snowmobile Administrators Association. They not only financially help run this, this competition, but they're out there looking for new ways to keep the trails groomed properly and, and open for you as well. And so he's representing that group as well as the uh, Department of Natural Resources, where he recently retired from. Not yet. Oh, not yet. January of next year. So, yes, today I'm still representing the DNR as the International Association of Stonebill Administrators. It's a fancy title, but it's folks like myself from Maine to Oregon, all the Canadian provinces, Alaska, and even Sweden. Uh, and our support for uh, the Clean Stonebill Challenge, SAE, is because what you're doing can and does have an impact on what we're doing because in and and i just got through judging a paper that said one of the issues facing snowmobiles and snowmobiling programs is losing land because of snowmobile noise and that's a that's a more than a little issue in michigan where 50 percent of our trail system is on private land uh and if you upset the private landowners, whether it's noise or illegal use, trespass, it hurts the system, it hurts it bad. So we, we truly appreciate what you folks are doing uh, and good luck to all the teams that are here. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Next, uh, Ms. Kay Lloyd, well, representing uh, several different organizations as well, Blue Ribbon Coalition, the Washington Snowmobile Association, former AXA president, uh, and stop it. <coughs> One of the reasons I come to this is because I get re-energized when I see all of this energy in front of me and the things that you're doing to make it smarter, safer. And because of you guys, we're still allowed to ride in Yellowstone National Park. Blue Ribbon Coalition is a year-round organization, so it's dirt bike quads, sand dune buggies, <laughs> snowmobiles. And we work to keep trail access open. Um, the Washington State Snowmobile Association totally supports this and helps fund some of my travel here. So, good luck to you guys today, and we'll see you at Coffee River. Okay. 
Next, our forest service uh, is, is sled friendly. And uh, Leon Levine will talk about that. Thank you. Glad you could all make it. Uh, most of you are from the eastern half of the country, eastern half of Canada, but if you notice, the western half of the country doesn't have much snow. We've got quite a bit here, quite a bit of cold weather. If any of you feel so inclined, you can come and help me shovel down my driveway after this competition is over. Your trails in the parks and the forests are open. That's a foregone conclusion, but in October it didn't look so good. Uh, the government shut down in October, and the parks and the forests closed. They closed the trails. Now, what this happened in the winter, it happened in the winter once before, back in the uh, 90s. It was shut down twice in the 90s in the winter. At that time, the Park Service did close their trails. The Forest Service did not. At least didn't have anybody out there managing them. So, what you do here with your clean snowmobiles, your quiet snowmobiles, has an impact on the American public, an impact on Congress. So, we appreciate the work you do. Now, Congress is the one that makes the laws, and we're the ones that enforce them. Whatever laws those are, sometimes they don't make sense. But they don't ask my opinion in that. They just asked me to enforce it. So, the quieter, the cleaner machines that you develop has less impact on the environment and on the people that don't understand snowmobiling. That could be the person that lives in Florida or somebody that has a house right next to the trail. So what you do is important. It's a competition for you, but it's a livelihood for a lot of other people. Keep up the good work. Thank you for coming. Yeah. One last speaker. Uh, this is an SAE organization. This is an SAE competition, and we hope that you intend to stay SAE members. And to that extent, the membership director is joining us today, Matt Creech. He's going to come over here and say a few words. He's also going to uh, try to talk seniors into converting to members for free this week. Last year, we started it here at the Clean Snowmobile Challenge. We converted, oh, 50 or 60 members to uh, become members for free for the first year. Because we did it, all the other collegiate design series competitions, and we got nearly 800 students to convert all what was started here. Now we're following that population of students and encouraging them to stay involved with SAE throughout their life. And that's what Matt's job is to do. No problem. Thank you. Uh, again, Jay said it well. Uh, congratulations to you all. I'm incredibly impressed talking to you. Uh, your time management skills just from being C in CDS will serve you well throughout your career. And for those of you graduating, we want to give you your first year of professional membership for free. And I'm sure for some of you, that first year on the job will probably look like a bit of a vacation after all the hard work you've put into this. So congratulations on your efforts. And again, I know your, your time involved in Clean Snowmobile will serve you well as you uh, go on to your career. So thank you and good luck. You're going to hear from sponsors during the week. You're going to meet them. They're going to help you uh, with your measurement of noise and acceleration and emissions. And they're standing around here supporting you today. Many more will show up as we go along. But uh, uh, please uh, look through the book, see how all the sponsors are. They could be sponsors of your team as well as sponsors of the organization. They're here to help you. So.